Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to look at this differentiation question. Uh, curve is given y is equal to cos x sine 2x. And in this question, we're supposed to find the x coordinate at the stationary point in the interval 0 to pi by 2. And giving your answer correct to three significant figure. So let's say we know we have equation of a curve. So, first of all, we need to differentiate this. So, once we're going to differentiate, so we need to apply the product rule. So, you can apply directly or you can choose as u is equal to cos x and v is equal to sin 2x because if you remember u dv by dx plus v du by dx. Is the product rule so now uh, derivative of cos x is minus sin x and derivative of sin 2x will be since derivative of sin is cos so it will be cos 2x and when we will differentiate the angle so it will be 2 so it's 2 cos 2x so substituting the values here this formula so u will be as it is and derivative of v which is 2 cos 2x and then plus v will be as it is so it will be sin 2x and derivative of u is negative sin x. So then from here we simplify so this can be written as 2 cos x cos 2x minus sin x sin 2x so from here uh, we can just simplify it because we have cos 2x and sin 2x so we can use double angle identities so to simplify it so whether since you know for cos 2x there are three different identities so you can use any one of them let's say if we use 1 minus 2 sine square x minus sine x and sine 2x can be converted to my 2 sine x cos x so again we use double angle identity here so just simplify this one so this is 2 cos x minus 4 sine square x cos x minus 2 sine square x cos x so from here uh, if we just further simplify this so dy by dx can be written as 2 cos x and since you can see these two are like terms so minus 4 and minus 2 so this is minus 6 sine square x cos x so further we can simplify this because there is a common as 2 cos x can be common so this can be written as 1 minus 3 sine square x and now after this because it in the question it says find x coordinate of the stationary point uh, in the interval so what we will do here to find the stationary point we will set our first derivative equal to 0 so therefore dy by dx is equal to 0 so which means 2 cos x times 1 minus 3 sine square x is equal to 0 so from here we can return as 2 cos x is equal to 0 or 1 minus 3 sine square x is equal to 0 so cos x is equal to 0 or here uh, if we simplify this so that's mean sine square x is equal to 1 over 3 so which means sine x is equal to plus minus 1 over square root 3 now uh, if we look at our domain so domain is between 0 to pi by 2 so that's mean we 
we have the value should be here like in the first quadrant 0 and 5 by 2 so to find the value here since we know if we take the cos inverse of this so cos inverse of 0 is actually pi by 2 but this is not in our solution because uh, the pi by 2 is not included there is no equal sign here now similarly here if we check for this so sin x is equal to plus minus so uh, our domain is telling us we have to find the value in the first quadrant so to find the value in the first quadrant so we will only choose sin x is equal to 1 over square root 3 so x is equal to sin inverse of 1 over root 3 so if we use our calculator so we will get this value of ingredient 0 0.6 one five gradients so uh, that's what we're supposed to do in this one so we already find the x coordinate of the stationary point within our given interval greater than zero and less than five by two okay so thank you very much hope you like the video